Bright suns, everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Star Wars Dark Forces on Hard. This is Mission 13, The Executor. Mission 13, The Executor, The Stowaway. Now that you're on your own, you won't have me to get you out of trouble. I programmed your PDA with the mission information that'll help you with your tasks. Once on the Executor, you will wait for the right time to make your attack. The Executor will meet up with the Ark Hammer and begin transporting its cargo. Get into one of the cargo containers and ride inside it to the Ark Hammer. Most likely they will halt this operation when they find out you're on board, so you will need to start it up again. That is where your next mission will begin. Reach the cargo shuttle bay, activate the cargo shuttle system, and jump into the cargo ship and ride to the Ark Hammer. Oh boy. Into the Imperial Underbelly. Let's go. Alright. The Executor, the Super Star Destroyer. And let's say we just go ahead and start things off with a bang. Stop who? Me? What? Why don't you come and come over here and make me, why don't you? This may not be the most uh, optimal environment to use a weapon like the Stalker Rifle, but it's fun. Who says? Oh yeah, don't try shooting. <laughs> yeah. These windows have, I, I assume, force fields on them, but... Yeah, that, uh... I assume that's a cargo bay. The room that was full of crates, that's now where we have to go. Like I said at the end of the previous mission. And speaking of the previous mission, this mission also only has two secrets. And these ones are even closer together than the ones in Mission 12, so let's just get right on into it, shall we? You ever heard of an explosive entrance? Okay, that kind of backfired. Let's try that again. Goodbye. You know what? Yeah, we're going to put some not-so-often-used weapons in the spotlight this time around, and hopefully I don't pay the price for doing so, because that would be embarrassing. But yes, the Super Star Destroyer, one of the most iconic ships in all of Star Wars, or Dreadnoughts, I guess is how this one's classified. But... The closer we get to the arc hammer itself, the harder the opposition's gonna get. Yeah, look at that. One shot, and these guys are toast. But, um, the closer we get to the heart of the Dark Trooper production, well, I, I can only assume you know what that means, right? What are we gonna start running into more of? Hmm. I, I can only guess. Oh, hey, look, a dark trooper. Whoa, hello. Well, you want some, big boy? Fight fire with fire. Yeah, when he, when he spams the assault cannon like that, just wait for him to finish. And he'll soon go down like a lead balloon. All right. And you can just go down for maintenance, Mr. Mouse Droid. But yeah, this mission is not... Surprisingly, it's... <coughs> excuse me. It's not that difficult. And it's also really short. I mean, we're probably going to beat this in about 15 minutes. But in here we have a non-secret extra life, which is pretty rare. Some shields, some laser ammo... But I feel the need. The need to use my concussion rifle. Look at that. Oh, so dirty. And then here we see where the officer was. Looking at us. And that switch just opens that door. I don't even think you need to press it. But then down here we have, look at that. Tons of stormtroopers. Look at that. One shot cleared all those stormtroopers. 
crazy. And this here, might even see one enter at some point. There is a TIE fighter that will actually fly in here, and uh, I guess it's docking inside the ship. Hey, there we go. The TIE fighters don't shoot at you. They are literally just there for looks. But there he goes. And... Slowly, slowly, slowly. He just stays there. Oh, okay. I think it's only one that flies in then. Or else that TIE fighter asset just... Oh, no, he just flew back out. What'd you come in here for? Oh, maybe he was refueling. That could be it. Well, hey, if you're looking for the moldy crow, you ain't gonna find it. Kyle is by himself. And he has... A concussion rifle. And this concussion rifle is hungry. Hey, where do you think you're going? I said, my concussion rifle's hungry. And when my girl hungry, my girl gets to eat. Eat all the Imperial scum she wants. But yeah, as you can see, aiming this thing is a little tricky. But we just got a weapon supercharge. Oh, oh yeah, it's doomsday for this place now. And we're going to put one of these... Uh, we're going to put the supercharge to work. We have a narrow walkway here with a couple of... Or four probe droids and commandos. And then another walkway with probe droids. Go ahead and take care of them. And then in this area here, there's just a bunch of commandos. So let's go ahead and blast all of them while our supercharge is still active. Should be one... Yeah, one left. And that's it. Alright, so where we have to go is up there. But it's always good practice to go ahead and blast away those commandos first or else they will just shoot at you. But go up this lift here, and we just have to jump onto this series of platforms. There's five of them total. I don't think falling off hurts you. I don't think you're quite far up enough for it to hurt you. But, when you jump to the fifth and final platform, you see that wall over there that's a little bit recessed? And also interrupts the... I don't know, the patterning of the light? Well, guess what that is? It's a secret. Oh, and I can also check and see how many... Well, I'm full on missiles. Okay, it gives you 30 projectiles, and I'm guessing maybe at least two missiles. But anyway, yeah, you get mortars, thermal detonators, and lots of ammo for your your ultimate weapon of destruction. And then, in this next room, before you go straight, take a left down this elevator. This area is entirely optional, but... It does contain the second and final secret. Just like that. Look at that. You're not jamming any doors today, Mouse Droid. Sorry. But yeah, two secrets, just like that. And I think this might be the... Uh, this looks like it might be the room that overlooked the docking bay where the smuggler ship went into. Kind of, anyway. But... I hope you enjoyed the warm-up round, because now it's about to get a little busy. We're going to fight not one, not two, but three Phase 2 Dark Troopers. So what I like to do is, as soon as they come into view, is to go ahead and launch a missile at them. Woo! Good shot. And then after you water them down with that missile, just spam them with plasma. And they go down pretty quick. But yeah, watch out. Those plasma projectiles, they hurt. They hurt like hell. <laughs> if they uh, if they catch you while you're trying to like circle strafe around them and you just get hit by a bunch of those things, you are either going to die or be very, very close to death. But believe it or not, um, that's pretty much the end. Yeah. Because beyond here, all you got to do is move the uh, cargo shuttle thingamajig. The thingy that you're going to ride all the way to the Ark Hammer. I'm going to see if I can avoid being hit. So I won't need to grab that... Uh, revive. But yeah, there it is, right there. 
that is the container, or cargo shuttle, that we will ride all the way to the Ark Hammer. And all we gotta do to move it... Actually, I think we already have our uh, first objective done too, don't we? Yep. Cargo shuttle bay. Boom. And both secrets found. Double boom. Just press the switch on the wall. These switches are very hard to miss, so you should be alright. But we have to move this thing, I think, in three different rooms. So here's the second room. And then in the third room, we have to rotate it and then move it. But don't worry, it's literally just one extra switch you have to press, and I just got hit too. That's okay. I usually end up taking at least one hit in this room. But that is A-okay by me. If I take any more hits, I'll just go back and get the revive. So yeah, to rotate the cargo shuttle, just hit the left switch. And then to move it to its final destination, press the right switch. And then we have to let that thing, or we don't have to, but I prefer to let it dock. Right there. Because inside the uh, little junction room that leads into it... We're gonna have a couple of stormtroopers. Just blast them. And that's it. Mission's done. Go inside there to get into the shuttle, and we're finished. But, because I want to start the final mission with perfect shield and perfect health... Let's go ahead and grab that lovely, delicious, and nutritious revive. And if I can fill up on laser ammo... Actually, you know what? That's fine. There, there's, there's a lot of Imperials in the final mission, so I, <laughs> I don't have to worry about my laser ammo ever being too low. Besides, I'm probably going to use mostly the assault cannon, because it's just so goddamn good. But I think I'll start out with a Stalker rifle, because uh, you'll see. The first room pretty much begs for you to use it. The first room of the next mission, that is. But yep, open this door here. Here we go indeed. And that's it. Yeah, see? I told you it was short. Whew. And that means there's only one mission left. The mission... Hang on. One more check. Okay. The mission to the Ark Hammer. From one underbelly of the dark side... To the other. And there you go. And that's it. Mission 13. Yep, told you it was short. And surprisingly easy. I think they decided that, uh, you know, the developers, that is, they decided that the quote-unquote difficulty could be increased by just, you know, throwing more Phase 2 Dark Troopers than normal at you. And there's like, what, I think that was four total? Um, oh, but don't you worry. There's going to be a lot of dark troopers in this final mission. <laughs> oh yeah, phase one and phase two. And since this is the final mission and is the third and final point of production for the dark troopers, I wonder if there's going to be a boss. Hmm. I suppose we'll have to find out. But yeah, the Super Star Destroyer. Um, honestly, I think the map could be longer. It's it's not not like it's not fun. You get to go through some pretty cool set pieces, like going in that hangar where the TIE fighter flies in to, I assume, refuel and then fly back out into space. And you get to use your Stalker rifle and your assault cannon in much more appropriate locations, especially against all those Phase 2 Dark Troopers. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Short but sweet is how I classify that. <clears throat> and this final mission, it's not as short as Mission 13, but it is much more difficult. I would say this is probably... I would say this is probably the second or third hardest mission in the game. Jabba's ship is probably still the hardest, mainly just because of how it's laid out. But this is a very, very close second. I would say Nar Shaddaa is probably the third. If that shield supercharge weren't there, it'd probably be number two. Um, and this mission, I don't think it has a weapon or a shield supercharge. I think it's, I think it is entirely Sans supercharge. So you gotta, you gotta make do with what you have. But we're Kyle Katarn, damn it, that's what we do best. But yes, the penultimate mission done, the final mission, the ultimate mission, is next. So, the Ark Hammer, ooh boy. The legendary, mysterious Ark Hammer, the ship that makes periodic jumps across the galaxy in hyperspace to hide its location as best as it can. Well, we 
are now about to be on board it. And we're going to sabotage this thing from the inside out. But that'll be next time. So for now, that was The Executor, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope everyone has an amazing rest of their day or night. And I will see you for the 14th and final mission of Dark Forces. So, I am going to sign off for now. I will see you all next time. May the Force be with you all. And bye-bye.